half wave rectifier circuit. Draw two rectangles placed beside each other. The first rectangle must be slightly smaller in size than that of the second rectangle. Draw two parallel lines in between the two rectangles. On the left vertical line of the smaller rectangle, a circle is drawn in the middle of the line. Inside the circle, draw the letter S in a tilted angle. Label it as line voltage from an AC power on the left hand side of the circle. Rub off the right vertical line of the smaller rectangle and draw a spring connecting the ends of the rectangle. Label the top end of the spring as P1 and the bottom end of the spring as P2. P1 and P2 represent the primary windings. Label the smaller rectangle as primary. On the left vertical line of the larger rectangle, rub off the middle region and draw a spring with length slightly lesser than that of the primary winding. Label the top end of this line as S1 and the bottom end as S2. S1 and S2 represent secondary windings. Mark secondary at the center of the larger rectangle. Draw a double headed arrow beside the secondary winding touching both the top and bottom lines of the rectangle with an opening at the center and mark it as VS at the opening. At the center of the top horizontal line, draw a triangle tilted towards its right and draw a small line at its tip. This is a diode and mark it as D. Below the triangle on its left side, label as P and near the small vertical line, label as N. P represents the P side and N represents the N side of the diode. On the right vertical line of the rectangle, draw a resistor with zigzag line. Label as the resistor RL. RL represents the load resistor. Above the load resistor, draw a horizontal arrow facing rightwards and label as VDC. VDC represents the output DC voltage. Extend the right vertical line of the rectangle slightly downwards. At the end of the extended line, draw four horizontal lines, each smaller than the first drawn line, which represents the grounded circuit. In between the P1 and S1, mark as step down transformer. This completes the drawing of half wave rectifier circuit diagram.